right, today we're talking about multivariate campaigns within Tarvin. Um, it's a great feature, especially if you have a larger audience that you want to test multiple variations of an email or a campaign and then send out that winning campaign to the, uh, the remaining portion of your list. And that'll all make sense in a minute here. So kind of jumped ahead here, but from the home page, click on campaigns. And we're going to go into a campaign that's already created as a multivariate. Uh, when you're creating a campaign, you just enable the multivariate campaign at the bottom here, and that will enable that feature. You do need to enable that when you create the campaign. Once the campaign is created, you cannot enable that feature. Um, so you will need to create a new campaign and enable it at the time of creation. So we're going to go into here and kind of show you what a multivariate looks like. So multivariate campaign looks very similar to any other campaign. Um, the only difference is we have a new icon that will show up here and this is your multivariate settings. Now there's a lot of settings in here, so um, don't be surprised when you see this screen. Um, it's not super complicated, but it does look a little bit busy uh, in the beginning. So um, once we break this down, hopefully it makes a lot more sense. So with that, we're going to kind of go into um, what you're doing here. So first thing is putting in a goal. So this goal just lets you kind of decide. This doesn't really control too much of how the system works. It just lets you know, it kind of gives you a reminder, especially when you're looking at the report of what the goal of the multivariate test was. So you can pick that, um, pick that here and then you can add in some additional information and put in your hypothesis of what you think it would be. Now, multivariate, the reason we call it multivariate, I jumped ahead here and started talking about the goals. So multivariate, the reason we call it multivariate is because in traditional A-B testing, you have version A, version B. So that's where the A-B came from. So you have multiple, you have two versions that you're going to test. In our system, you can have multiple versions. In fact, you can have up to 10 versions. So, but, and those versions can be for more than one change. So you can have subject line, you can have from name, and then you can also have content or you can have send times. So you can test with multiple versions in up to a combination of 10 or 10 different combinations. So in this case, we have the two subject lines, um, one, one from name and one content. So that means that everybody's going to get the same from name. Everybody's going to get the same content, but the subject line, there's two different versions of the subject line you're testing. So once you set up your goal, then you're going to set up your variations that you're going to have. So this will, again, set up all these variations. So if I have the two subject lines and maybe I have, you know, two content, well, that means that there's going to be, and this, or, I'm sorry, three. So in this case, you can have up to six combinations. So that means that based on your testing audience, so I'm doing 50, 50, um, maybe I want to make this a little bit less. I can slide this up and down so I can say, okay, for this 12 of my contacts, I'm going to do 46%. So 12 of my contacts are going to get the test versions, which are going to be the six variations. So that works out to two contacts per combination. Um, so they're going to get that. And then it's going to, um, the rest of them, the winning combination is going to go out to 16 contacts. So that's kind of how this works. Um, so you set up your test audience and that's why I say you need a little bit bigger test or a little bit bigger audience in order to use this feature to make it effective because you really are not going to be able to base it off of two and get a really good result. You certainly can. It's entirely up to you, but statistically you're going to probably want more than this. So, um, but this gives you an idea of how this works. So for right now, we'll just leave it to 50, 50. So, and the reason there's six is just like I said, the subject line times the from name times the content that gives you your six versions or six combinations, I should say. Now, the winner, you're going to send this out and you're going to say, okay, I'm going to send it. We're going to just make it for, you know, for ease of understanding. I'm going to send this out on Monday. So on Monday, this goes out and then I'm going to wait two days or three days. So on Wednesday, it's going to pick a winner 
and it's going i'm going to base that winner off of something so that something is what we're going to base it on here so i can base it on the click rate you know so I, of all the link clicks which version of the email got the most link clicks or i can say which which combination i keep saying version which combination got the most opens or the one that i like to use is which combination got the best engagement and what i mean by engagement is if you go back to some of our other videos where we talk about that engagement score that engagement score is based on deliverability it's based on the opens the clicks the opt-outs just anything and everything that is engaging with this campaign it's going to look at all of that in that engagement score that we give you within the campaign report it's going to look at that engagement score and it's going to it's just going to take a summation of all the different things within there and base the success off of that so we could go off the sender score uh, i'm sorry we could go off the engagement score the sender reputation which one got the best deliverability so we could go off of that go off of shares or manual now what, what we do my manual is we say okay after three days we're going to send you an email saying hey it's time to pick a winner so then you can look at the reports and see based on your interpretation of the data which combination you felt was the winning combination and you can manually pick which combination is going to be sent and then for the manual side then you get to determine when that winning combination is going to be sent is it going to be sent right away it's going to be sent in a day at eight o'clock in the morning after a one day wait or what have you so you get to pick that but we'll just go off of engagement for right now so i'm going to base it on engagement i'm going to wait three days so and depending on what you want you could base it on three hours or you could change this to one hour so i can go off of hours days or weeks so it's really up to you on how long you want to wait i would not suggest going off of weeks in most cases typically you get the majority of your results from a campaign within the first three days so that's why it's defaulted to three days then once that winner is picked then you decide when the winning combination is going to be sent so this kind of this whole form kind of follows the flow of how things happen so um, once you pick the winner now when the winning combination is going to be sent is it going to be sent right away or is it going to be sent um, you know, are you going to wait a certain amount of hours days weeks so maybe i wait one hour from when it was sent and then um, go from there. So I would have to select wait, and I'm gonna say go one hour, and then I'm going to say send immediately after the hour, or I can say, well, no, I want to send this at a specific time, so I'm gonna wait an hour, and then I'm going to send it at maybe 8 a.m. So I can do that, and that, in this case, an hour may not make sense, so I may wait a day. So on Wednesday, I pick the winner, and then the winning combination, I'm gonna wait a day, so I'm gonna wait till Thursday, and I'm gonna send it at eight in the morning on Thursday. So again, we don't have the days specified in here, so everything is gonna be based off of when you send out this campaign. So it'll first, it'll first go out to your test subscribers um, or your test contacts, and then the, those combinations are gonna get tallied after the three day period it's going to wait a day so monday wait three days and then go from there wait one day and send out that winning combination so that's kind of how the multivariate works so now in here i'm not going to save so we'll go back and if i pull this up again just so you kind of remember what the settings were so we had two subject line combinations um, so i want to show you what those combinations look like so in the last video, we talked about um, your header and what it looks like there. Um, so you have your from name, your from, uh, from email address and the domain that it's going to. So now the next thing we could do is we can set the subject line variation. So we had two variations that we talked about. So the first variation, this is what the from text is going to look like, or I'm sorry, this is what the subject line will look like. Now I can go to version two and now I have a different subject line that's going to show there. So I can control what those different variations look like. We still have uh, the same features available. So you can use the emojis, you can use personalization, you can use Articelli. 
cool thing with Articelli is that when you use it, um, Articelli, where if you say maybe you've got two variations, so you can tell Articelli to create two variations of the subject line, and then you can assign those to each of those variations within the Articelli screen. So it's kind of cool to, to do that. So I guess I can show you that here. So I can go in here and you want to do woodworking and I want to do um, lighting. So those are my two. So, and I want two answers back and I want these to be 30 characters long or around there. So I'm going to ask our telly. It's going to do its thing, come back with it. Now I can say, here's the subject lines. So I want to insert this for subject two, uh, and I want to map this to subject one, um, or and then I can do the same thing here and pick which subject line, what subject variation I want to do this on, and then I, I can ask Artelli again because I don't like these answers. But then I can do insert, so I can map these individual answers to those areas. So now if I go back into my multivariate. Now I can change my content. So maybe I want two variations or two different versions of my content. So I click save. So I click save. Now I've got this guy over here. So what this does, you'll see this little red icon. The red icon just kind of correlates with your checklist, um, but the red icon just lets you know that there's no content in here. So now for this content, I'm going to have to either start from scratch or what have you. So I can do that or I can copy from the first variation so I can do that otherwise I can start from scratch so I'll just say copy from the first variation so now variation one and variation two match but what I could do is I could go in here and maybe I want to change this and I want to use a different image so maybe I want to use I don't know maybe we'll say this image which looks almost exactly the same Let's see if it does. Yeah, it does look the same. So maybe I'm going to pick something entirely different. So we'll just go with this because it looks different and not the greatest picture, but it'll give you an idea of what this looks like. So I can click save and I can save these. So now I can see version one looks like this. Version two looks like this. And I can send this test out and see which version works the best. And then once it's sent out, then it's going to pick the winning combination and it's going to send that to the remaining 50% that you have selected. And again, you can change this. You can go ahead and edit this here if you don't you like using a slider. For me, sometimes it annoys me because I need to get my exact number. So I like to just type it instead. So um, really just depends on what you desire to use. Um, but that's kind of how the multivariate gets set up. The send process, the testing, Testing will let you test it with multiple variations so you can pick which variation you want to test. Um, and then the send, it's in orange right now just because there's some problems that we would maybe need to address, but I can still send it so that I can send this out. It's going to go out to those. And you'll see both those variations in here so I can see what both of those variations look like and still use the time and the time jumper and send it. So then when you go view the report, Report's going to look a little bit different because you're going to be able to see multiple variations and see all those different combinations, I should say. So you're going to have a combination of a subject line and a content body. So in this case, you're going to have uh, the two and the three, I think, or we had two and two. So you're going to have four combinations that you're going to be able to look at within the report to see all those numbers. And then in addition to those four, you're going to have the winning combination. So we left no rock unturned. So you're going to be able to see the reports on all that. And we'll go over those reports in another video. So try not to make these too long of videos, not doing a very good job at that, but want to make sure that we give you as much information as possible. So you don't feel like you have no clue what you're doing. And hopefully you don't, you don't still feel like that if you did. Please let us know that we need to recreate this video and, and make it a little more informative and understandable. So until then, if you have any questions, please reach out to us um, through social media, through YouTube, uh, through email, or pick up the phone and do it the old school way and give us a call. Either way, just give us a call and contact us and we'll be happy to answer 
any of your questions that you may have, no matter how random they may be. Until then, um, have a great day.